I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on polynomials. This question is good for competitive exams like SAT also. Question here is when f of x equals to ax cube plus 3x square minus 2x minus b is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 36. When it is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 1 find the value of b right so you need to find the value of b we are given five choices you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions now the strategy here is let me write down the strategy since we know remainder when we divide by x minus 2 it is 36 it really means that the value of the function add 2 is 36 right and also when you divide by x minus 1 remainder is 1 it really means that f of 1 is 1 right so that is the base for solving this question and now we'll substitute 2 and 1 in the equations we'll get two equations there are two variables rather unknowns a and b we'll find them and then we'll know the answer right so let's figure out what is f of 2 equals to f of 2 is equals to substitute 2 here a times 2 cube plus 3 2 square minus 2 times 2 minus p right f of 2 is 36 so we'll replace this by 36 2 cube is 8 a t plus 4 times 3 is 12 minus 4 minus b so, so we get 36 equals to 8a plus 8 minus b. It's good to write constants on one side. So we'll write 36 minus 8 equals to 8a minus b. And that is 28, right? So 28 equals to 8a minus b. This is our equation number 1. We'll get the second equation by substituting 1 in the polynomial equation f of 1 is substituting 1 we get straight away right a times 1 cube plus 3 times 1 square minus 2 times 1 minus b f of 1 is 1 so 1 equals to a plus 3 minus 2 minus b and that gives us 1 equals to a plus 1 minus b or 0 equals to a minus b right so we have two equations two unknowns a and b we can always calculate their value so now next step should be if i subtract one equation from the other let's do equation one take away equation two i can find the value of a right so 28 take away zero is 28 8a take away a is 7a minus b minus b cancel out so we get a equals to 28 over 7 or a equals to 4. Now from second equation you could also write that a is equals to b right and therefore we know what b is b is also equals to 4. So choice a is the right answer for the given question. I hope this method helps you to understand one remainder theorem and then how to solve these equations to get the result. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.